It is time yet again to talk about another Mezco figure, and I know it's super late to be talking about it, but for those who are interested, it is the San Diego Comic-Con Moon Knight exclusive figure. And uh, I'll be honest with everyone, I don't know much about Moon Knight. It's not a character I've ever in been invested in. It's not a character I know too much about. I think he looks cool. Uh, after doing my research, I've discovered that he is actually quite cool. So, there you go. I will also let you know the Comic Crusaders pool list will kind of reflect the fact that I don't know much about Moon Knight. But as you can see on the box here, there is some cool artwork on the back. So, let's go ahead and unbox it, shall we? And here is this brooding, rich man with mysticism implied into him i think he actually looks really good he's got a very cool costume we're going to break that a lot more down in detail and whatnot but i find the character has a very imposing presence on him the soft goods are really tremendous on this guy i know it's been talked about to death but uh he's actually very cool so let's get at it shall we kicking things off right in the head uh we have the head sculpt for this moon knight and it looks really good the white on the plastic cowl looks pretty good, and I think it matches up pretty well with the cloth goods of the cape. But as you can see from the top, it's got some nice seam work uh, look to the sculpt of that plastic head piece. And then the unmasked head is uh, tremendous. It's got these blue eyes in there with this black mask hanging over the person's face. And uh, I love the details and expressions there. A very smooth sculpt with a very nice paint job. Uh, it just comes together very nice. And even the side portrait here of the head looks really good as well. As you can see, you have his nose kind of poking out there, which is very cool and nice to see. Now, as for the chest plate here, uh, the armor split up into two pieces. He's got his armor suit, but then he's got the crescent you know armor plate right there with the logo on the chest and then as you can see the armor is uh intricate throughout the top here with you know uh plates and whatnot i'm not sure of the right wording here but he's been through some battles you got some marks and stuff on there and then the gloves here have the pointed tips at the top so we can really inflict damage all of it looks good he's got a nice belt with the moon knight logo on it and then it looks like clips and pouches and whatnot, so he could throw the crescent moon pieces at bad guys or whoever gets in his way. And then, uh, as you can see, that texture throughout the suit actually comes down throughout. It's a very nice detail. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Mezco exclusive Punisher, the Spec Ops. It's got that feel to it. Uh, a lot tougher, but still looking good. The shin guards look nice, and the boots have some nice white on them as well. And then on the back, just so you can see that detail a little more, very intricate looking costume. Mezco really went all out with this and uh, all of it looks nice. I really have no complaints with the stitch work. Some people tend to harp on that, but it's not something that bothers me. As you can see, you know, the armor plating of the blacks broken up through a lighter color of just the costume itself. So all of that's looking really good. The boots look fine. Uh, a very fun piece to look at. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the cape because it seems like the Moon Knight cape is a integral piece here. Um, once again, the texture of the cape looks nice. Um, it has a nice curvature to it. As you can see, if I can get my fat fingers around and uh, display it properly. And, uh, of course, that uh, hoodie is removable. Uh, the cape is stitched in, just so you guys know. I'm pretty sure almost everybody knows that by now. But I figured I'd point it out anyways. Um, nice material. All of it looks good. And once again, I think the whites match up pretty well here, which is quite impressive when it comes from plastic to cloth. So kudos to Mezco for doing that. All right, let's go ahead and break down articulation on Moon Knight here. I'm going to break it down in a couple parts here. Mostly because we have the hooded section there at the top. I'm going to show you that. And then we'll just go right into things. So you get some swivel action there, but it doesn't want to come off. You can bring it forward and back with the head. But if we pop it off, we obviously have a lot more range of motion here. He can look up. He can look down. Side to side. 
and then of course go all the way around like so now because of the fabric and the material used of course we got that neck piece right there that adds to the articulation in the head uh, his movement is somewhat restricted uh, you can take it back and uh, side to side like that it goes back it goes down uh, that much and then we have a lower section there that allows for a little bit of a swivel and uh, the arms go up the arms go down uh, they go around and they go back but you want to be careful with that fabric that's the most important thing here that way you don't tear it or anything we got a bicep cut like so we got a double bend at the elbow and then at the gauntlet section we do have some rotation and then at the wrist we have that ball peg that allows it to move around like so now in terms of the lower body uh the legs do go out that much but they want to come back in because of that fabric uh so he can kick forward pretty good which is nice uh he can go back somewhat and then we got the thigh cut hidden right there double bend at the knee like so and then we have rotation at the boot and foot goes down up and rocks side to side so that's going to pretty much do it for articulation let's go ahead and break down accessories so starting first we have the staff, which looks very nice. Then moving on from there, we have the grappling hook baton. As you can see, it's a nice thick, and it's got real metal there for the chain, which is cool. We have the crescent blade, so we could strike vengeance into the night. And then we have the nunchucks like so. And then we have this head here, which we've already covered. And uh, we have a hooded piece, so you can bring the hood back, and then you could have... The regular hood just sit up front then we have the mark specter head this is actually done really good a lot of battered and bruised look to it he's been in some wars i love the way the cow piece hangs on top of his head like so like a beanie then we have gripping hands we have fisted hands and then we have uh, crescent bladed hands and then we have a single crescent blade hand which is cool and then we have some open hands and then moving on from there we have the uh, base and all that stuff with the uh, pieces that allow the cape to stand out I don't use that so there is that as for our size comparison that went way too long uh, here's Agent Gomez and then we have a black suit Batman right there just for that comparison and then we have Captain America and Doctor Strange all of these fit in really good with each other. Uh, obviously, you're going to be using it with your marble unless you're doing some sort of crossover. But uh, he looks good. He has a nice, strong presence to him. And I think that's the big sell of this figure. Overall, I think Moon Knight's great. Um, this thing really didn't immediately sell out, which is kind of weird. Because I think this thing's actually really cool. But uh, it is a fun piece. It's not a character that I know a lot about. So my attachment to it isn't nearly as deep as maybe some other people's, but it's still a cool piece in a collection. So there is that. But I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the Comic Crusaders pool list. I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, I appreciate the support. Thank you for stopping by. Also, check out some of the people who make this show possible because without them, I wouldn't be doing it. So there is that. I will have a slideshow at the end of this. I hope everyone's doing great. Thanks again. And until next time, great googly moogly.